Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in this video I'm going to compare different materials for heat transfer and we're gonna uh, yeah, find out which materials you should actually use if you want a, a big heat transfer to happen in your build. And of course, that's no surprise I think, uh, all the materials that provide decent heat transfer are metals. So we don't have any other materials than just from the metal group. Uh, before I actually get started, uh, let's check the most important parameter if you want a higher heat transfer. That's of course going to be the thermal conductivity. You want that to be very high. So in that case, you have a very high or a very fast heat transfer as well. Then we have specific heat capacity that could be of importance if you want to preheat um, the items before you actually attach them to the heat transfer. That's for instance needed if you want to do some yeah, preheating for example, then you want this to be high as well. And then of course important is going to be the melting point. You want that to be very high because this is pretty much the limit of operation for your heat transfer item. So let's get started then. Uh, we are going from the worst materials for heat transfer to the best uh, con uh, yeah, heat conductor, so to say. And the first one is going to be lead, as already shown here. Uh, it has a thermal conductivity of 35. That's not definitely not a bad value. It's a very good uh, value. But compared to all the other materials I'm going to show, this is the lowest uh, value. Also, the specific heat capacity is low, and the melting point is also very low, which means you can uh, operate uh, heat transfer from lead just until 327 degrees Celsius. Then we are going to the next. Uh, I think tungsten and gold are very similar in their yeah, properties for heat transfer. They have almost the same specific heat capacity and a thermal conductivity of 60, which is almost twice as much as for lead. Uh, if you just uh, check the melting point for gold, it's 1000 degrees, for tungsten it's 3400 de degrees. So it could be that tungsten is a little bit better for gold, but both are not the first choice. Specifically, gold should be used for any decor item in your base, as it provides a 50% bonus for uh, decor. So instead of using gold for radiant pipes, uh, use it for de decor items. Then on the next level we have iron and steel. Both again have very similar abilities. Uh, thermal conductivity of 55 and 54, but a lot higher uh, specific heat capacity uh, than gold and tungsten. 0.5 versus oh, I missed that one. One uh, 0.134. So yeah, iron and steel could be used for for your pipes or your, for your heat transfer items, but they are still not the best. Um, then on the next level we have copper. This is already a very decent uh, heat transfer item or heat transfer material. It has. A good specific heat capacity for any metal and a nice thermal conductivity as well. Uh, the melting point is also okay, I, I'd say 1100 degrees Celsius. You don't often reach that temperature in your builds. Then the third best uh, material to use for heat transfer is gonna be uh, cobalt. As you can see, it has a good specific heat capacity and a very decent thermal conductivity of 100 and the melting point is also very high. So al always consider cobalt for your heat transfer. Then the surprise in this list, uh, that's gonna be aluminum. It has very decent uh, abilities concerning thermal conductivity. Uh, thermal conductivity of 205 already, that's twice the amount of cobalt. And it also provides a nice heat storage of 0.9, but the limits of operation are a bit lower until 660 degrees Celsius, maybe not to be used in all end game builds. Pretty much not, uh, don't use it maybe for your sour gas boiler or for regular melter. 
And then on number one, we don't have any surprise here. That's going to be uh, thermium. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, this tile is out of thermium. Uh, the conductivity is 220, just a bit above uh, aluminum, as shown before. It has a little less in specific heat capacity, but instead a very high uh, melting point. So this is going to be the material you want to use for your end game builds. So I think I've pretty much covered everything in this video. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like the con content, please consider subscribing. Thanks and goodbye.